Hi everybody, my name is Igor Paspal and I'm Guitar World Magazine 2020 Electric Guitarist of the Year and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Electric Guitar Master FX template which is included in DeskQ Gig Performer 4 as well as one small thing that you can do to improve that template. So let's jump in. Okay, when you create a new gig file in Gig Performer you will be given the option to start from a template. So you go into new gig I already have it open here. So, uh, templates are a great starting point for most setups and for this video we'll go into the guitar tab and we're gonna choose the template electric guitar with master effects template which is included in Gig Performer 4. So I already have it opened here. This is what you're gonna get when you open the, this template. Now you will notice as soon as the files open up you have sound and effects ready to go. At the bottom of the screen you will see the global effects panel which has parameters that will affect uh, every sound in your rack space as well as the local rack space where you can add additional elements to the global sound. Now in this template the local rack space contains different guitar cabinets, amps, mod uh, module, uh, models and the global rack space contains chorus, river, reverb and delay. You see how when I'm changing how the local rack space changes and the global always stays the same. So. Let's hear some of the sounds that already become preloaded in this guitar FX template. Okay, we can start with this clean. Let's see. Then as you can see there's a variation with the chorus. A little bit of drive. One essential part of creating a great guitar sound, now no matter which amp or cabinet you are using, is to add a little compression to the effect chain before everything else. Now a good setting on a compressor will make your volumes more even across the board and add sustain to your sounds which can be particularly useful for, so for soloing for example. Now to do this, navigate to the wiring panel on the global rack space. I'm gonna go to global rack space and go to wiring. Now when you open for example the chorus reverb delay block which are coming all from THU guitar plugin uh, you will see that there's an EQ some effects pedals but there's no compression so THU for example has an included compressor but for this video I'm gonna use some completely other compression just to wait to demonstrate how Geek Performer 4 is able to pull in plugins from many different ecosystems and create a single cohesive instrument now you can quickly insert your uh, compressor here by pressing command P on a Mac or Ctrl P on Windows. Now I will type the name of the compressor. Okay, let's see. So it will list here all effects that you have uh, or VSTs that you have installed on your computer. So I'm gonna use now this, let's say, just for sake of this demonstration, e compressor from Nova Factory. Okay. And here it is. There it is. Now before I use it, I need to connect it. So obviously I'm gonna put it before the chorus river or delay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect these wires from chorus river delay. And first I'm gonna connect them to compressor and then from compressor to, just move this a little bit, from to chorus river delay. Now we have our compressor engaged. Now, Basically, I'm going to just use here to go, for example, to this option menu of the compressor. I'm just going to take this Acoustic Guitar 1 plugin. Of course, you can play around with it, with the compressor. Uh, you know, it's just, you, uh, it can improve the sound 
dramatically it can even uh, as i said volume across the board and basically you know play around you have here threshold ratio attack release level basically threshold level is a level at which compressor is going to engage and then attack and release settings essentially control the reaction speed of a compressor now i'm just again i'm just going to use this little preset every compressor has probably a little bit different option different interface but anyway let's just check out quickly how it changed the sound Okay, let's hear how the compressor changes our sound. As you can see here in the screen of the gig performer, it's red now, uh, it's disengaged at the moment. So this is how it sounds, for example, disengaged on our clean sound. If you engage it. Disengaged. Engage. See, as you can see, it evens out the frequencies a little bit. Okay, now that our volumes are leveled out and we are getting a bit more sustain, we will create some MIDI mapping to control Gig Performer while we are playing without needed, needing to look at our laptop. Now mapping with Gig Performer has a few benefits over using a typical pedal board. First, there are no pops and cracks when switching sounds. And second, you are able to use variations so that you can switch the settings of multiple pedals with a tap of a single button. And lastly, you are able to map all of the same on the fly controls that you would like a typical hardware setup. Now all the controls on the front screen here, as you can see, are able to be mapped to a MIDI controller. Now I'm using the MFC 101 uh, MIDI controller from Fractal Audio Systems, but any MIDI controller will work. So let's start by mapping two buttons to switch between variations. To do this, choose option from the menu, options, and then global MIDI. Now we are able to map two buttons to next and previous rack space, as you can see here. So I will map my next variation to one of the buttons on my controller. You can just go learn MIDI for selected item. You click that and then you press your button. And as you can see, it works. And then previous variation, I'm also do another button. And now with these foot pedals mapped, I can easily switch between variations. Another thing that you can do, uh, with, that you can control with the MIDI, and that's something that I like to do, is to have control over one specific parameter I'm playing. And that's, for example, I like to have control of the amount of the delay I'm going to use at any given moment. So to do that, okay, I'm going to edit my global delay module. And to do that, we can go to edit, enter edit mode. We can choose our parameter. In this particular case, it's going to be effect button of the delay, so delay amount, and you see it here, you have a few tabs, you go to MIDI, here you can see the parameter, and again, you can use learn button, and in this case, I'm going to control it with my expression pedal. So when you press the learn button, you just move your expression pedal, and you can see, you see here on the screen, it's moving. It's a little bit like this, so here's a dry sound. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, on the screen right now, I have a link to one of my previous videos where I'm showing you how to uh, set up basically four most common sounds that you're going to use on electric guitar. And if you haven't tried Geek Performer yet, uh, there's a 14 days free trial that you can download from the link in the description. 
Thank you very much and see you next time.